If you've worked with JavaScript before, you've probably seen code that looks like this, where we say function person takes an argument name, assigns name to this dot name, and then if we say var Adam equals new person with an argument of Adam, um, Adam is going to be an object with the property name that's equal to Adam. And if you are familiar with JavaScript and you've worked with JavaScript for a while, um, this all may look very normal to you. But imagine that you are a programmer who's never worked in JavaScript before. Um, I would think that this would look weird because, first of all, um, you know, this function call is returning an object, but there's no return statement. There's no return statement here. So how is that happening? And secondly, um, we're assigning something to this dot name, but where is this being initialized and declared? Um, you know, like this is assuming that this that <laughs> this is an object, but where is the var this equals that or something like that. Um, that's not present here. So there are these two confusing things. And, uh, you know, how is this, what's the explanation for these two confusing things? And the, so he, yeah, here, here are the two questions. We'll keep them here. How is the function returning anything that, given that there's no return statement, and how are we assigning something to this, given that it hasn't been initialized? Um, and I'll tell you the answer to those uh, questions. The answers to those questions. Um, the, the explanation is that we're using the new operator. So what the new operator does is implicitly it says var this equals new object, and it says return this. So, not much to it. <laughs> when you call a function with the new operator, it does these two implicit things. And, you know, that addresses these two questions. And that is essentially, um, yeah, the new operator makes a function act like a constructor. So, that begs the question of what, what's a constructor. Um, a constructor is just a function. A constructor is just a function that creates an object, and that's actually not quite true. So a constructor is a function that creates an object that is an instance of a class, and instances of classes, you know, they they do inheritance, they can inherit from superclasses, and they expose things that subclasses can inherit from. So a constructor really is something, is a function that creates, that, that instantiates a a class and creates an object. And factories are actually my first definition. A factory is a function that creates an object that isn't an instance of a class, like a plain old object. And we can see here in Java, not JavaScript, but Java, um, we're defining a class and defining the constructor function so that when we say new person in Java, it's going to call this constructor function. Um, okay, so that begs the question of <laughs> JavaScript, where is the class part? <laughs> like, this is, yeah, where, where, where do classes come into play here? And I'm not going to get too detailed into this. Um, a lot of people will loosely call, say, you know, use the term class in JavaScript, and some other people might get annoyed at that and say that, there's no such thing as a class in JavaScript, and the latter statement's actually true. There, there aren't classes in JavaScript. JavaScript uses prototypal inheritance. Um, so the reason we call this a constructor is, 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 it, is because it approximates uh, classes. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So there's other implicit things going on here. Implicitly, where saying var, where we're saying that this dot underscore underscore proto 
is equal to person dot prototype. And also when we declare this function, we're implicitly <laughs> doing another thing. We're saying person person dot prototype is equal to an empty object. And we can do this because in JavaScript, functions are actually objects, and you can assign properties to them and methods on them, etc. So there are these additional two implicit things going on, in addition to the other the two things I started off by explaining. And these two things, um, this and this, they're what allow inheritance, quote unquote, to happen in JavaScript. Well, no, not quote-unquote. It, it allows inheritance to happen. Um, it's called prototypal inheritance. And, yeah, th this only happens when you use the new keyword. Um, so that's about it. Uh, that's how the new keyword works in JavaScript. It does these implicit things that, um, allow, you, that allow you to return an object and that make that object an instance of a class, quote-unquote, and allow for inheritance to happen.